Sound mixer. An audio bounty hunter. Hired to sell rogue sounds to the highest bidder. A sound mixer's sacred duty? To roll sound in every condition against all odds. Sworn to protect the client, even from themselves. <laughs> Excellent. <clears throat> Is this the tutorial now? Nova set up. Let's get Nova set up out of the box. First, we'll need to get the Nova power. It runs on any standard DC power source, 10 to 18 volts, which will connect to the Nova via a four pin Hyros connector. Once connected, flip the power switch to the on position. Let's go over how to control Nova. The front panel has an LCD, five infinity encoders, a menu pot that you can twist and press, a headphone knob, function buttons, and soft keys. Take note that some of the soft keys on the front of Nova have two functions. The primary function is what's written on the key. The secondary function is written above. To access the secondary function, you press and hold the button. The use of the six function keys around the touch screen varies based on which menu screen you're in. In the home screen, the star key can be pressed to toggle between home screen views. In this overview, we're going to use the screen showing our mono mix and iso tracks. Let's start by setting up time and date, which is located in the timecode menu. TC is written above the bank key, so we're going to press and hold it to access the timecode menu. You'll see six menus pop up on the LCD display. Click F8 for next page. Set time date is the last choice, so using the menu pot, scroll down, then click on set time date. Once you're set here, click the back button. While we're in timecode setup, double check to see that your frame rate is set correctly for your shoot. In terms of timecode, we're using Nova's internal timecode generator based on our time of day. You can also jam timecode via the BNC connector on the side of the unit. Next, let's set up our media. All Zaxcom gear records their primary audio in a proprietary format called MARF, which stands for Mobile Audio Recording Format. MARF protects you from losing any audio in case power is lost. Your mirrored audio is what you'll be handing off to post. This is generally a polyphonic WAV file, but Nova can also generate an MP3 or mono WAV files. Grab a CF card and insert it into the primary slot face down and cycle the power. Press and hold the 5 button to get into the media menu and select primary card. Then scroll down and select format primary card. Nova will then give you the option to format the card by pressing the star key, which is right above the menu pot. The time it'll take to format your card will vary based on the size of the card. Once Nova tells you formatting is complete, cycle the power. To get back to where we were, press and hold the 5 button, choose primary card, then select choose primary folder. Select the folder you'd like to record into, hit the back button, then scroll down and click on the edit current folder name. This is where we'll rename the folder. In the keyboard screen, you can navigate using either the function keys surrounding the LCD or by using the menu pot. If you press and hold the menu pot, it toggles between upper and lower case letters. When you twist the menu pot, the cursor moves horizontally. And if you click and twist the pot, the cursor moves vertically. Once you've got the folder named, hit OK. This will take you back to the primary CF menu. Take a second CF card and insert it into the mirror slot face up and select Mirror Settings. Scroll to the very bottom of the menu and select Format Mirror Card where you'll be prompted to press the star key. Once it's complete, you hit the back button to exit. From here, we select Folder to Mirror and choose the same folder you're using on the primary card and hit Back. Check that the file type and resolution are set appropriately. Now you're ready to mirror. Turn it on by clicking mirror mode and select either on or continuous. 
On will mirror in between takes and Continuous is recording to both media at the same time. When you're done recording sound for the day, make sure mirroring is 100% complete and don't forget to include a sound report. Click Write Sound Report and you're good to go. Pro tip, how, how the, the fuck, fuck do you, you get, get the, the wide audio? audio? Dear, you've never sounded better and or looked more wide. And with such a big headroom, I can't believe you sound so great. Aww. Have you ever worked on a shot that has impossible headroom or when you aren't able to wire talent? All the time, right? If it's a locked off wide shot and post can facilitate it, you can shoot with the booms invading the frame. Just get a clean plate at the end of setup. A few seconds is all you'll need. You can also think about hiding mics on set pieces or behind key props. Sometimes this will allow the microphone to be closer to the action than traditional placement. I wish our son would have came home for Christmas. Mm. Christmas. Christmas. So your gear looks great. There's one key step left. I'd like you to close your eyes, take a deep breath, and as you inhale, feel all of the pain and suffering that this set is causing you permeate your entire body. And on the exhale, I invite you to just let it go. Again, inhale. Feel that pain, feel that anger, and through the nostrils, exhale. And if you'd like to bring a mudra into your practice, for example, gyan or the middle finger, whatever resonates with you on this day. Namaste. Namaste. That's not how I wrap it. Should you have done that? No. I didn't raise you to open your presents.